Hey guys, welcome back to the Fortified Castle. It's Rasputin coming to you with another Modern Monday Madness. Or is that Monday Modern Madness? I don't know. Brought to you by 865, uh, 865 Knives in Tennessee. Uh, love you, brother. And uh, thanks for the great open tag. We're going to be talking about a Kershaw today. Um, if you're thinking about Modern Knives, you're probably not thinking about Kershaw. I mean, um, a lot of guys are just blinded by that super steel light, drawn into that. Um, but quietly, Kershaw produces some of the best knives in America at really affordable prices. This is one of them. If you'd like to hear more about it, go ahead and check out the video. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Fortified Castle. Hi to all my viewers. Bonjour, Privet, Guten Tag, Hola, Ciao, Konnichiwa to my uh, foreign viewers. Uh, today we're looking at this knife here. It is a pretty sharp looking knife. I think you'd agree to that. Uh, just a plain, uh, nice titanium type look to this knife. It's not real titanium. Um, but it is a Cairo Kershaw Cairo and this is a stainless steel knife so the frame is all stainless steel it is um, PVD coated in uh, titanium carbonitride a very um, uh, tough durable coating on the knife and the blade and the uh, frame is coated in that you see it's model 1555TI, hinderer design, made in China, and it's an 8CR13 in MOV uh, steel in this, and uh, it is a uh, budget knife, <clears throat> but man, it's a good one. And so this is a smaller uh, knife, overall uh, closed, it's three and three quarters, and that's kind of pretty close to a trapper. Or a leak they're actually about the same size the leak may be a little bit bigger um, and with the blade open you get a two and three quarter inch blade or 9.6 uh, centimeters overall you have a six and a half inch length or um, 16.5 centimeters and um, you have a blade width on this Pretty good, pretty good stock on this. It's um, uh, 0 0.118, three millimeters. And the handle is a slim 0 0.393 or 10 millimeter. You can see the offsets there. There is no uh, skeletonizing. It is a frame lock. You can see right here. Nice frame lock hinderers uh, lock stop prevent over travel on the lock. It is a um, uh, thumb stud or um, flipper actuated. It is a assisted opening knife. Um, kind of nice. It doesn't stick on you. I know that's not for everybody. So, uh, I've never actually used this knife. Um, it's in my collection. Uh, somebody gave it to me. I can't remember uh, who or how I ended up with this. Really nice knife, though. Uh, I did a bunch of research on this. It is absolutely phenomenal, the number of reviews on this. You just can't run to the end of them. Uh, just hundreds of reviews on this knife. Uh, I didn't see a negative review on it. I uh, know... Um, uh, uh, Gideon's Tactical did a review on this and it was uh, favorable. He liked uh, the knife. Uh, like all knives, it's not perfect. We'll go over some of those things as we talk about it. But um, this is a Hinderer collaboration. And so when you look at this, this is really just a scaled down um, uh, 0550 from ZT, which is also a Hinderer design. And it differs a little bit, and it doesn't have the front choil here that the 550 does. 
but uh, <clears throat> you have black um, coated um, uh, pivots and offsets here. It is a, a ambidextrous uh, design for the um, clip. You can put it mounted on both sides and it's uh, top and bottom. You can mount it top and bottom. Uh, I usually like a, a, a tip up carry. This is just the way I got the knife. I never uh, pulled it over. So um, yeah, I like this knife and um, I think a lot of other people do. I think it's one of Kershaw's um, best designed uh, knives. You know, it's designed to be a rugged, rugged, durable knife. Um, if you don't know a lot about it, <clears throat> uh, PVD coating is, is a type of coating where they uh, particularize the uh, coating material, put it into a vacuum, apply electrical charge, and it provides a very even, uniform thickness on the uh, knife itself, you can see how nice this coating is. There's no dripping or bubbles or anything like that. You can see on the blade how uniform it looks on the blade. And they're very durable. The material they use, uh, titanium carbonitride, is um, tougher than titanium nitride. They add uh, carbon to it, which is where you get the carbo nitride and so it's it's a uh, t not a tougher coating but a harder coating than um uh titanium nitrite so let's just look at some other knives compared to this it's three and three quarter inch before i do that you can see i can get a full grip here if you open it up you have some uh jimping here uh the jimping is effective and uh, I like it. You have it on the back and underneath here where your fingers go. If if you don't choke all the way up, you still get a nice uh, pinky grip right there on it. And this is really comfortable to me. But I tend to grip up on it even further. And you can see that's a full pinky grip when you, when you really get up on this knife. So, um, you know, plenty of good news there. Uh, very nice uh, thumb stud, typical... Um, graduated thumb stud there works really well um, really nice um, uh, Kershaw clip on here it is deep carry um, let me go ahead and show you that right now so this is what the um, deep carry looks like on the Kershaw cryo pulls out really easy has plenty of uh, uh, tension there to keep it inside your pocket. You can shut the knife one-handed and then back in the pocket. Easy as you please. Okay, um, you do have the frame uh, stop here, which is kind of nice. I don't think I've ever over-traveled a frame lock, but it's possible and that's why they put them on. I think it's a good idea. Um, there's your lock up on it. Uh, it's hard to see because it's black, but it's uh, about halfway. Really nice lock up on this. Um, that's where you hit your uh, spring for your assisted opening. Um, knife works really well. You have a nice lanyard loop here. It is not part of, uh, of any other feature on the knife. It's large enough to get um, paracord through. You have a nice centering here. Really nice. This is a really nice knife. They go for um, I look today they go for uh, anywhere between $35 and $44. I think most of the time you can get them around the $40 range. But uh, Chicago uh, Knife Works has one for uh, $35. <clears throat> it's a design that is, uh, I think it came out in 2012 is what I'm thinking that the knife came out with. So that would make it um, 2012, 8, 12 years old. That is the knife next to the Kershaw. Here is a Benchmade um, 
Freak, Mini Freak. You see that a little better there. Uh, you see they're very comparable sizes. If you like that small size um, knife, here's a, a Deca. And you can see it next to the Deca. Uh, I, I thought about this, you know. Um, I really prefer this. Uh, I've really enjoyed carrying this Deca, but... This, this FRN just doesn't feel substantial, and I know that's psychological. I know it is uh, just fine, but uh, in hard work, I would prefer a knife to be uh, feel like it's not going to fall apart on you. And that's kind of the way that DECA feels. So let's look at some uh, uh, bigger knives in comparison. So these are more like your full-size workers, the Ontario Rat 1. Let me get rid of the Mr. Decca here. And this is a Spider Co. Tenacious right there. Uh, Tenacious is not that much bigger. Kind of interesting. Um, you're recalling one. Oh, 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 oh. That's a man's knife right there. And we'll show you one more. Uh, this is the QSP Black Mamba. So that's how it compares to a larger EDC type uh, knife. Okay, I'm going to show you this knife in action. But uh, before I do, I want to just talk about Kershaw a little bit. Um, Kershaw has been producing these inexpensive knives a long time before everybody else got in the game. And they have just got the formula down. They can produce a very affordable knife that is a really dur durable, rugged, and a real user. Here's my Emerson. <clears throat> I carried this thing an awful lot in EDC. And, and again, it's the, uh, very similar, very uh, rugged uh, frame lock construction on this Emerson. And um, this thing is just held up fine, and I've had it for years and years. I probably bought it. I want to say I bought that around um, 2014, 2016, in between that time frame right there is what I want to say. But, again, just a great user. And um, they do these collaborations with uh, this is an Emerson, this is a Hinderer collaboration. And they just work out uh uh, great and it's great news for us. They have a lot of knives that they produce that are uh, under the $30 mark and um, they've had uh, a checker pass. I mean sometimes the knives come out and people don't like them and so they discontinue the knives and they move on and they make another knife but they also just have an incredible variety of knives like the Blur which is very popular, the uh, Leak um knives made in america and um affordable that that are really providing um good edc options for people who don't want to spend 150 200 on the knife so they're a great option for you to look at why don't we go ahead and uh, take a look at uh this knife in action a little bit Okay, you guys, I just wanted to uh, show you uh, some of the abilities of this knife. Uh, this is not a bushcraft knife, but I uh, just picked up this piece of wood out in the yard. It's old, it's hardwood, and I just wanted to show you that, um, you know, it, it makes uh, short work of cutting through this wood, um, no matter how you do it. So I'm not using a lot of force. Uh, I'm just running it along the edge of this blade just so you can see, you know, how it's cutting into this hardwood here. It, it does a really good job, and uh, that hollow grind really helps out, you know, in a uh, task like that. Here's a uh, newer piece of wood. I'm not sure what this came off of. It came off of something, but it uh, should be easier to carve this than that hardwood. And uh, you can see it just makes short work of this. And I'm not pushing down hard on this at all. And it's just tearing it up. And again, I think that's the hollow grind uh, on this knife. You know, uh, making a difference. 
but it just tears it up. And uh, we'll go uh, prepare lunch with this. Uh, see how it does in that capacity. So the nice thing about a nice hut like this is it's built strong enough to um, do everyday EDC tasks that you might have, cut rope, cut wood, whittle wood, whatever you needed this knife to do. But it's also really handy in um, just doing some little chores like cutting up some uh, cucumbers. And um, that's one of the advantages of a little knife like this. If uh, These uh, bigger knives would be a little harder uh, to do this. So these little EDC knives in that three and a half to three and a quarter inch range are, are really nice to do uh, fruit prep, handle the little things that you might have to handle. Um, I don't know about you, but when uh, I'm retired now, but when I used to go out on the job, I used not to prepare my sandwiches in advance because if you, you cut them up uh, prior to lunch, then um, it's a lot fresher. You know, your, your uh, bread is not uh, soggy and wilting. It's nice and firm and fresh. And uh, all your fruit is good. You don't take that chance of it browning on you. It's nice and uh, crisp. And so um, that's the advantage of a small EDC knife like this. All right, so um, <clears throat> that's all I got. Guys, um, overall, I like this knife a lot. I think a lot of you would like it too. Um, in the specs, I didn't mention that this is 4.1 ounces. That sounds like an awful lot for a little knife like this. But <clears throat> in reality, it's it's it feels very... Um, very good in your hand it doesn't drag down my pocket at all four ounces is right around that user um, type of uh, blade true a lot of bigger knives would be around that four uh, four ounces four ounce uh, weight but um, that's because of the stainless steel in here and it just gives you a lot of confidence uh, wielding this knife that it's not gonna break or bend or collapse on you and, um, you know, it's, it's, um, for that type of person that's using it in that type of situation that they feel that they need that extra strength. And, uh, this is certainly a good option. Um, uh, before we close, um, <clears throat> Kershaw off also offers a Cairo 2. That's a bigger version of this. The blade on the Cairo 2 is a three and a quarter inch blade. Um, it's 4.4 inches overall. Uh, it weighs about 5.5 ounces on the bigger one, and it has a black wash finish. I personally uh, really like these PVD finishes. They hold up really well, and um, they add hardness to the materials that they're put onto. Um, they're great um, corrosion-resistant material, hence the Cairo name, I think. Cairo? But, yeah, good knife. I'd recommend this knife in a heartbeat every day. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks again.